Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here for WM Experts, and I apologize for the odd lighting and uh, the poor sound quality. Uh, I'm in my hotel room. I just got back from a uh, Microsoft event where they uh, were showing off Windows Mobile 6.1, and lo and behold, they decided to let us play around with it. So, we're going to do a quick demo of Windows Mobile 6.1 on the Blackjack 2 and show you what there is to see. Let's take a look. Alright, so like I said, I apologize for the uh, low rent sort of uh, quality here, but I think we'll be able to do it alright. So of course the coolest new feature of Windows Mobile 6 on a uh, standard OS device is this new Today screen. And it is really slick. You can see here there's all these little uh, things you can zoom through. Um, so we'll see, you know, you've got Boom, your uh, your start menu, date and time, you know, whatever. That's all standard stuff. So let's cancel out of that. Let's go back home. Let's take a look at that sweet today screen. Next up on the today screen, you can see down here you've got all your alerts. You can they show up there, they get highlighted. And when you go down to them, you can actually go look at the details of each one of these alerts. So it'll show you the latest text message with a picture of the person that's there. It'll show you the latest email, the picture of the person that's there, show you the missed call with the picture of the person, and so on. Appointments, you can actually scroll through your appointments for today, tomorrow, and go straight to starting a new appointment. There's also this great new getting started uh, screen, or a portion of the today screen. So you can set your clock, set up your email, you know, get everything that you want to do typically when you get stuff set up. It's really slick. Um, and then, of course, the last one here is done. When you get done, you're all done. Um, now, one thing I want to point out. Uh, when you go to set up email, uh, they like current Windows Mobile devices, it's got all of the different email services sort of set up and built in, so you don't have to you know worry about how to configure that stuff. Uh, device lock. The Bluetooth is actually really interesting. They've built in all of the uh, standard Bluetooth headset passcodes, so most of those are you know zero 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 zero. Some of them are one two three four, and so what Windows Mobile will do when you pair with the new Bluetooth headset is it'll just give them a try. It'll try 000 first, that doesn't work, it'll go to the next standard one, and so you don't have to punch in those little pairing codes to pair with standard Bluetooth headsets, which is a really slick deal. You can set your today's screen background very easily, set your ringtone very easily, transfer your music very easily, which is also pretty cool. We'll uh, go take a look at that. I actually haven't loaded a memory card in here yet, so that might not work. See, look at that. Connect your device to your PC, open me Windows Media Player, just tells you how to do all of it. Very neat. And here's all the getting started things and a thing. And then when you're done, you can add or move, get started. You know, right there. You can click add or move. We're gonna leave it on there because it's cool. Need to sh need to show it off. All right, moving on. Now there's also your most common settings. So you've got profile, your wireless manager. You know, you can uh, change your ringtone here again because it's in, within settings technically. Your background image. So again, if you get rid of that getting started thing, it's still down here, which is pretty neat. And then uh, task manager. There's a new task manager and you can see the different tasks that are open and this is much more robust than what's built in in uh, you know previous versions of Windows Mobile so that's pretty neat so we're gonna end all running applications because what the heck why not and the uh, the thing that's actually notable about this is you know you start here up at your time by the default but you can boom just by pushing up jump right to your profile and change your profile to what you want it to be which is pretty cool alright um, and the other thing I want to point out is when you're in these different uh, sections, look at the right soft key. It changes based on context. So you can see the different context. So you can go into all settings here and bada bing. So that's pretty cool. Now let's uh, we're going to go through the changes a little bit slowly. Here's uh, one change I want to show. Excuse me, start menu. The start menu doesn't actually take you to all programs now. It takes you to a list of your most recently used programs. And then once you've gone through that list, you can go to all programs to look at your standard start menu all programs there we go and you can scroll through them and look at that I just received a text message so let's go to the home screen here alright I'm gonna insert this after the fact I wanna show uh, text messages without uh, revealing Kevin Michalek's phone number hey there's a new text message from right there haha -ha. so we go down hey Dieter how you like so I wanna see the rest of it so we'll go and take a look at it Hey Dieter, how are you liking Windows Mobile 6.1? A lot of improvements this release. You're missing out on a great Dieter, a uh, great dinner, Dieter. Kevin. All right, and we'll say, I love 
and holding the camera is hard and we'll click send and there it is great got a chance to see that let's go back here again recently used programs all programs and you can see the different programs that are built into this uh, Samsung Blackjack 2 very much like the original Samsung Blackjack you know the standard stuff you're still are going to have you know your stuff that AT&T puts in and so on. So carriers still get to customize, and they can even customize the Today screen by building plugins for that little up-down thing that I showed you, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, otherwise, you're looking at a lot of standard stuff. Uh, email is very much the same. Uh, it still has type defined. One thing that is really slick is it does allow you to select multiple me multiple uh, messages. You hold down the Shift key and scroll through the messages you want to select. Go down into uh, all settings here so you can see what's going on. Uh, you know, these are the blackjack specific settings, and so it's pretty much standard stuff. I don't know if there's anything especially new here. Yeah, we're not looking at anything too new. Key settings, yeah, that's all blackjack specific stuff. Video share, because this is an AT&T device. Regional settings, owner information, blah, blah, blah. Of course, we got to look at about Windows Mobile 6.1 standard and version. There it is, it's the i617. And those are the uh, key new features. Oh, actually, let's do one more. Let's take a look at the new version of Internet Explorer. All right, so we're loading up the WM Experts. And you can see it is loading it up with the standard uh, screw it up of the menu that uh, does when you've got it in single column mode. Other than that though, I'm actually relatively happy with the way the site renders. And I uh, will scroll as it loads. I'm sorry the front page of WM Experts is so heavy. I will uh, do have plans to lighten it up a little bit. So you can see it's still not rendering, you know, the best ever. But there are some new features to it that we'll get to when this thing finishes loading. If you're watching this and you've got any questions about the Xperia X1, I am going to uh, have a sit down with Sony Ericsson to take a look at it, so head on to that blog post and comment. Alright, let's just stop it. Okay, so look at this. You've got a zoom out button, and you can zoom out, and you know we're in single column mode, obviously. But that's actually really convenient. You can go and take a look at you know, how it's rendering. You, know, you can take a look at the portion of the page you want, and then zoom back in to look at it. And then, of course, we can uh, hit the menu button here. And let's take a look at the different options. Let's take a look at the view. Take a look at a desktop. And now, when we look at it in desktop mode, you can zoom out and you can see that it is actually rendering with pretty darn good fidelity to what the actual WM Expert site looks like, except for that top bar again, because it is still Pocket IE. But it gets the uh, right hand sidebar pretty well right. And you can zoom back in again. Not too shabby. But really, the, the big deal to me is this, uh, this Today screen. There you go, a quick short demo of Windows Mobile 6.1 standard on the Blackjack 2.